Hey Guardians! In this video, I brought you another broken build with a newly released exotic scout rifle, aka Wicked Implement. I know already someone jumps on the keyboard to type, Oh, this is a BS exotic. It does not worth my time to get that. The mission is so difficult, and it needs lots of time spent on fishing. It is useless and blah blah blah. I gotta say no, wait, watch this damage number to find out if it is useless or not. Damn, go. What you saying? What you saying, huh? Mm. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Jeez. Oh, come on. Oh. See? I told you. With this build, you can simply do the damage of three or four rocket launcher shots free and instantly. I highly recommend getting this exotic as soon as possible, because I plan to make two or three different builds with that, and do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notification on, so you will make sure you do not miss any of them. Speaking of not missing broken builds, I made lots of them, especially for Hunter, and their links are in the top right corner and the description. They are fun and powerful, and make the game way easier and more joyful for you. Without further ado, let's dive deeper into this build and see how we can maximize its potential, shall we? The first key for this build is one of the forgotten exotic gauntlets, Athras's Embrace. After doing three precision hits in under seven seconds, this exotic gives you a 200% damage increase to your weighted knife, more knife bounces, increases your strength stat by 50, and you can stun unstoppable champions with your knife. This buff remains between 10 to 30 seconds based on the number of your precision hits. The other key is the Wicked Implement Exotic Scout Rifle, as mentioned before. This exotic will freeze your target after a bunch of precision hits, and other benefits related to its ammo economy are not our main focus. So can you see the beautiful synergy here, guys? Oh, oh, no, nah, I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. Matter of fact, I'm blind in my left eye and 43% blind in my right eye. I don't see much of nothing. A matter of fact, I can't even see you, sir. Wicked Implement needs precision hits to freeze the target. And at the same time, Athras's Embrace buffs your weighted knife during that. When the target is frozen, your next damage will be increased by 130%. Such a genius I am. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. And that's why you see that chunk of damage, which is around three times of a rocket launcher damage in the game. So, this simple throwing knife does damage like three rockets. And the best part is, that's instant. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! Yes! With the combination of fragments and mods I designed for you, you gain your melee energy back between 0 to 40 seconds. Imagine three free rocket launcher shots every 40 seconds in the worst-case scenario. I have no knowledge of any of this. This is so bizarre. I just want to be left alone. That's literally it. Don't worry. I've got your back. Speaking of fragments and mods, let's check them. For the subclass, we need Gunslinger. You can choose whatever super you want, but arguably the Blade Barrage is the best for PvE because of less cooldown and higher damage. Next, we need to use Gambler's Dodge and Weighted Throwing Knife. For the Grenade, you can choose whatever you want, but I highly recommend using the Healing Grenade, because there is a fragment that gives you melee energy each time you buff your allies with Restoration or Radiant. Aspect-wise, we need On Your Mark, because it increases your reload speed and handling and gives us three slots for fragments. For the last aspect, we need Knock em Down, because it buffs your super and brings back your knife each time you get a final blow with it, fragment-wise. We need Ember of Benevolence to get our abilities back each time we apply buffs such as Restoration, Cure, and Radiant to our allies. We need Ember of Beams to buff our super because your super damage also increases when your target is frozen. As you can see.
You can use Ember of Mercy instead of this for more survival capability. We need Ember of Searing to get our melee energy back each time we defeat scorched targets and also make fire sprites. I highly recommend using a solar energy weapon with an incandescent perk for activating this fragment or using another grenade instead of the healing grenade. We need Ember of Tempering to make fire sprites and increase our recovery. This one also needs a solar weapon for the energy or heavy slot for activation. Last but not least, we need Ember of Torches to gain our knife back instantly when we get a final blow with that. And if not, with the help of Ember of Benevolence, it gives us ability energy each time we apply the radiant buff to our allies. Let's check the armor mods. I designed them to get your melee back as soon as possible. Feel free to pause and copy the mods. Stat-wise, we need strength, resilience, and mobility as much as possible. Without further ado, let's check how this build works. Although this build sounds complicated to understand because of the synergies between exotics, subclass, and armor mods, it is easy to accomplish. After doing six precision hits, your target will be frozen. Remember, do not shatter the frozen target. We need that ice. During this, you automatically activate Athras's Embrace perk, and your knife gets a massive damage buff. When you throw your knife, two different scenarios may happen. First, you get a body shot. In this scenario, you will get around 190k damage, which is the lowest. It is good, but we want to maximize the damage. Second, when we do precision hits, in this scenario, the damage hugely increases to around 290k. Isn't that awesome? You can be the master of that with a bit of practice, I'm sure. And when you are, you do not need a heavy ammo weapon. This build frees you from dependence on heavy ammo at no cost. If you get the final blow with your knife, your melee energy will fully refund. If not, you can dodge near another target to get it back. If there are no enemies near you, or it is dangerous to be near them, your melee will be full in less than 40 seconds. Each dodge, grabbing Orb of Power, and buffing your allies with Restoration or Radiant Will help you to get your melee energy faster. It is good to know, the Wicked Implement can stun all types of champions alone without any mods. Do you want to know how? I made a video about another weapon with the same functionality. There is a link to that in the description and top right corner, and lots of broken builds in this season. Check them, guys. It's free. What do I owe you? Nothing. It's for free. <gasps> free? I lost Go ahead and give this fun and powerful build a try, and let me know in the comments how much you enjoyed it. Please, don't forget to like and subscribe. By doing so, you will motivate me to create better videos for you and help grow our channel. I swear to bring you tons of broken builds this season. I'm here to make your dreams possible so you can make mine. Thanks. Love you. Don't forget to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.